Graphing systems of equations. One way to solve equations that involve two different variables is by graphing the lines of both equations on a coordinate plane. If the two lines cross, the solution for both variables is the coordinate of the point where they intersect. So solving systems of equations, the first method we're looking at is solving by graphing. And when we solve systems of equations, they involve having two variables and starting with two equations. So an example of a problem would look like solve the system of equations by graphing for y equals 2x plus 0 and y equals negative x plus 3. So let's do the blue equation first. Our y-intercept is at 0. That point is always on the y. Let's start at 0. And then my slope is 2 or the fraction 2 over 1. So from that point up to right 1. And I can go up to right 1 as many times as will fit on here to add points. And the more points I have on here, the easier it is to line up with a straight edge and come up with a nice straight line. Computer-aided drawing gives you a really exact line. When I'm drawing by hand, I want a lot of points and I want to use a straight edge. And let's graph y equals negative x, negative 1x plus 3, y-intercept at positive 3. And my slope is negative 1 or negative 1 over 1. I can go down 1, right 1, down 1, right 1, or up 1, left 1. Either way is going to make this pink line. Now, to tell the solution for a system of equations, we're looking for that point where they intersect. We're looking where do the two lines cross and what ordered pair is that? Well, that's the ordered pair if I start at the origin, right one, up two, that's the ordered pair one, two. So my solution, my x and y value that work in both equations is an x of one and y of two. And if I put that back into the original equation, the x of one and y of two, it works in the blue equation. And x of 1, y of 2 works in the pink equation. It's the only ordered pair that work in both equations. So that's allowed us to solve for two variables at once. All right, let's take a look at a new example. Let's try solve the system of equation by graphing y equals x minus 3 and y equals negative 3x plus 1. So in the blue equation, we'll start y-intercept at negative 3. Then our slope is 1, which is the fraction 1 over 1, which would be up 1, right 1. And I can go up 1, right 1, adding as many points as I want. Take a straight edge, draw a nice straight line. Then graph y equals negative 3x plus 1. I started a y-intercept of positive 1. Then I use my slope, negative 3 over 1. I could go down 3, right 1, or up 3, left 1, and get the pink line. Now, the solution for the system of equation is the ordered pair where they intersect. Those two lines cross at 1, negative 2. So my solution, an x of 1, a y of negative 2, and I'm going to write that as an ordered pair. Parentheses, 1, comma, negative 2. All right, you guys try this one on your own. Take a minute, draw a coordinate plane, graph, and see if you can find the point of intersection for the solution to the system of equations. And then unpause and you can check your work. All right, welcome back. So let's graph the blue line. Y equals negative 2x plus 4. Y intercept of positive 4. Slope of negative 2 would be down 2, right 1. I can use the slope down 2, right 1. Add as many points as I would like. Get a nice straight line. More points, the better. And Y equals 2x. Well, there's no uh, plus any number at the end. So what do we do? Well, that's a proportional relationship. That's going through the origin. If it makes you feel better, you could put a plus zero there because you're not really changing the value of the equation by adding a zero, but we have to start at the origin. We've got to start at zero, zero. Then a slope of two or two over one would be up to right one or down to left one and would make this line. Then where do the two lines cross? They cross at one, two. An x of 1 and a y value of 2 is my one solution. So when I graph two lines on a coordinate, there are three different things that can happen. And most of the time what will happen is you'll graph your two lines and they will intersect at one point. And if two lines intersect, you get one solution. Sometimes when you graph two lines, they would come out to be parallel and that means they have no point in common. There is no solution. There's no x and y value that will work in both equations. And the third thing that could happen is your two lines can overlap. They can co coincide. They can be on the same spot. The same points that are in common on one line are also points in common in the other. 
and that will give you new and infinitely many solutions going on forever in two directions. Now, there are points that don't work, like the origin, that those lines don't go through the origin, zero, zero would not work. So it's not all real numbers, it's not every point, it's just every point that works in one line works in the other, and we say that they have infinitely many solutions. So let's say we have solve the systems of equations by graphing y equals x minus three and y equals x plus two. Graphing the blue line, we have a y-intercept at negative 3, slope of 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1. And the pink line, y equals x plus 2, y-intercept at positive 2, slope of 1 over 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1. And there is no solution. These lines do not cross. If they continue forever, they will never cross. And these are pretty easy to spot because parallel lines will have the same slope but two different y-intercepts. And we could kind of see that before we even start graphing, that they had the same slope of one, but two different y-intercepts. Um, and that's a hint for when I'm trying to graph that, that they should look like parallel lines. Name that solution. Well, this one's already graphed for us. Where do the two points cross? Well, there's one solution, and it's at the point for negative one. How about this one? Where do those two lines cross? Well, they have one solution, the two lines intersect, and it is at the ordered pair to one. How about this system of equations? Where do those two lines intersect? It has one solution at negative two, negative four. And lastly, let's look at this one. We have two lines that intersect, they coincide all the way along the way. They overlap, meaning every point that works in one line also works in the other. So the lines coincide and have infinitely many solutions. So what kind of line can we expect to draw if we see y equals negative 2? Well, this is one of those definitions so that we just need to know every time we see y equals a number, it is a horizontal line. So I'd go down the y negative 2 and draw a horizontal line. What kind of line is x equals 5? Well, x equals 5 is kind of like the opposite of horizontal. We'd go five places on the x. We'd draw a straight up and down vertical line. So horizontal lines always come in the form of y equals a number and have a slope of 0. Vertical lines always come in the form of x equals a number and their slope is undefined or no slope. So I hope that helps you guys get started on solving systems of equations by graphing. Have a great day. O-U-T spells out.